Hi new builders, my name is Chris and in this short video I'm going to show you how to create a simple database table using fast forms. Then I'm going to show you how to enter data into the form and how to search that data. For more advanced help visit forums.newbuilder.com or check out our other videos in this series. So firstly you're going to log into your database and bring up the home page. Next click on fast form button in the top left corner. Once that's loaded up you need to click on add record in the top right hand corner. Add a name for your form, for us we'll be calling this employee and entering data about a list of employees. Now it's time to enter some objects into the new form. Firstly we're going to enter a text field and call it first name. Now we're going to add another text field and call it last name. We're keeping those names separate so it makes searches easier. And I'll show you that in the last part of this video. Thirdly we're going to put a date field in and call it start date. Once we're happy with the fields, click on the save button in the top of the screen. Now that's done, go to fast form button in the top left hand corner. Now that's loaded, you'll see that our form we just created has appeared. Next click the home button and once you're there, click on the user home button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Click on the fast form we just created and you should see our fields laid out in the columns on the page. To create records in the form, click on the Add Record button. I'm going to add 10 more entries into our database and we'll be right back. So now we have more entries, we can search through them. Firstly, we're going to look for any names starting with the letters K-I-N. Now you can see all the kings have come up. If we want to combine a search and find all entries with, for example, K-I-N, but also the letter S in it, we'll put a space and type S after K-I-N. And now you'll see all the kings that start with S have appeared. Also, if we want to sort into one particular column, I just click on the column name and sort in ascending or descending order. Lastly, if we want to exclude a column from the search, for instance, if we know there are going to be a lot of letter E's in the first names column, but only one in the last name column, we just untick the box above first name column, and you'll see that all the first names aren't counted in the search results anymore. Great, well thanks for watching. Don't forget you can go to forums.newbuilder.com for further help and tips.